Hi everyone, I'm back with a very important subject. A lot of people have been writing and asking me that ma'am, we are practicing the questions which I put on Instagram, but even though they know the answer, the moment they stand in front of the mirror and they try to answer that question, they go absolutely blank. And some of them have said that they have tried pageants, they knew the answer, but the moment the question was asked by the jury, they went blank. So I thought I'll make a video on this to help you to understand stage fright. So first thing, let's understand what is stage fright? Why this happened? And they all differ from person to person. But remember, some people, some people have it in a low scale and some people get it at a very high scale. But remember, nobody is immune to it. The best of speakers also go through this. And even if you have not yet gone through stage fright, but one day it may happen at certain place, you will have those butterflies in your stomach and you will hear that little flutter in your voice. So let us understand some common factors why stage fright happens. Number one is lack of preparation. So many times, maybe you don't know your material. Maybe you have not touched that subject. Or maybe you don't have in-depth knowledge about that subject. So you're not prepared for that subject. So one thing, you must make sure whatever type of speech you have to give or answer a question on a particular thing, you must know your subject well. What is the answer? Practice, practice, practice. Every day you have to practice. I'll give you a small story. There was this king and he made a big announcement. He said, I am looking for the most strongest person in my kingdom. And whoever turns out to be the strongest, I will give half of my kingdom to take care of to that particular person. Now, there were a lot of strong people in that particular kingdom. But king had a, he had a, a, what should I say, he had a condition. And he said the condition is that whoever, how will I decide who's strongest? You have to lift a horse on your head. And the king's horse was a huge horse. Very healthy, very healthy. And looking at him, people were so scared. And the best of people also thought, how would we do it? A lot of people came and tried lifting the horse, but nobody could lift the horse. So one day, a man came and he looked average. So he came to the king and he said that, Your Excellency, I will be able to lift your horse. But I have a condition. I will come back next year at the same place, at the same time, and I will lift the horse. I'm not going to lift the horse today. King looked at him and he thought, he laughed in his mind and he thought, such a thin man, how will he lift the horse? Okay, just for fun, he says, fine, you come next year and lift the horse. So slowly the year passed and next year at the same time, that man turned up. He still looked thin, but a little better. And he came and he lifted the horse. Everybody was shocked. How did he lift the horse? So the king asked him, nobody, the strongest of people in my kingdom could not lift the horse. How did you lift the horse? So he said, sir, after I had spoken to you and I had promised to you that I'll come back, I went home and I bought a small calf, baby horse. And I started lifting that baby horse every day. Without, without any break, I used to lift him as many times as I can during the day. And slowly that little calf started growing into a baby horse from to a maybe a young horse. And I continued to lift him every day. And as I was lifting him every day, I didn't even realize 
that the horse was growing in size and weight. Because every day I was lifting him, I got so used to lifting him, lifting him, lifting him, that the moment he became a full grown stallion, I still could lift him easily because I had been practicing lifting that horse since he was a baby. And my body had got used to lifting that horse. And that is the mantra of my lifting this huge horse today. The, the slowly the do, the horse grew slowly my strength grew and I didn't even know that I could lift such a huge horse but today I have done it so what is the moral of the story is that you have to practice 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 every day and the most impossible thing also can be achieved so that was my point number one point number two is lack of experience that means that you have never been on stage before or maybe you were on stage before last time and it didn't go well. So you gave up and you got that fright and you don't want to try it again. But remember, success always comes out of your comfort zone. You need to throw yourself in uncomfortable situation. Volunteer in your school, college, everywhere. I will do the anchoring. I will do this. I will do that. Where you have to face people. You'll face one time, two time, three time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time. That experience will be so great that you will slowly get used to it. Just like that horse thing. Experience matters. So the more you throw yourself in front of people and those two strangers, the better and better you will become in facing people on stage. Number three point is Fear of failure. Now maybe you failed once, you failed twice and now it is settled into your muscle memory. That oh, any time I go on stage, this is going to happen. And you keep playing that video reel in your mind every time you are asked to go on stage. And remember, human brain cannot understand what is fake and what is reality. So if you keep thinking, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, your human brain will think that you're going to fail. And automatically, it will give you actions which will make you fail. So fear is nothing. Fear is just your imagination. It's the video reel which is playing again and again. Release or destroy that video reel which is playing in your brain. Don't think of what happened last time and last time. and Don't dwell on your last failure. Every day is a new day. Start afresh. And once you face success, then every time when you go on stage, you will feel more and more confident. But don't continue to play that reel that today I succeeded, so next time I go, I'll succeed again. No, don't get that overconfidence also. Every time you're preparing, prepare with a fresh mind, prepare well, and know that you will perform well, everything will go well, continue to repeat in your mind, everything will go well and everything will go well. Another issue which happens is pre-existing anxiety. Some people are born with anxiety. Their personality is such. And if you are one of them, consider yourself lucky because by now you must have learned to overcome your anxiety because if you're facing it right from your childhood you must have by now worked on that weakness of yours and certainly keep that in mind that my inbuilt nature is that i get anxious and i need to control the next could be that the stakes are very high but remember always remember you cannot just give up just because the stakes are high and say i just cannot do it what will happen? Worst, what will happen? That attempt will not go well. Nobody is going to murder you. Nobody is going to hang you. So that's okay. That's okay. Even if the stakes are high, don't think that you cannot do it. And there's a very nice saying which says, take a leap of faith and the net will appear. And this stage right has got many names. Some people call it phobia. Some people got, uh, call it glossophobia. But there are too many names about this. But what is it? It's nothing but your own thoughts playing games in your mind. And when these games 
start when the mind starts playing these games a uh, body will react in so many ways you will get this very rapid heartbeat then your visual vision will vision will become a little narrowed a little blurry you will have dry mouth you will have very tight throat you will have butterflies in your stomach you will start trembling and shaking you might want to throw up you might get sweaty hands your uh, hands and you know hands and feet will get very cold so a lot can happen when these um things the mind starts playing game because it releases certain kind of hormones when you are happy there are different set of hormones which are released and when you are anxious there are different set of hormones which are released so it's basically the mind playing the games so if you train your mind to be happy it will release the happy hormones rather than the stress hormones so now that i have already told you what is stage fear and what happens let us now see how to handle stage presence what you can do so there are a lot of things you can do at personal level and a lot of things which you can learn from a scientific principle which i will tell you one by one so number 1 the day of your performance keep your stomach light don't have very heavy food or food which makes you drowsy food just makes you feel heavy have something which makes you feel lighter i would suggest maybe go for an orange juice and or, or orange or something and so this brings me to point number 2 which is avoid caffeine that makes you really anxious so tea coffee avoid that avoid these uh, carbonated drinks maybe you can have a fresh fruit juice but make sure that even that is also in a very limited quantity and is not very sweet because again that is not going to work in your favor so the first thing on that particular day never never go empty stomach you have to have something have light not very heavy and avoid these caffeinated things number 2 is movement you see if your body is still just like water when the water is still and it stays like that for a long time it stagnates there is you know algae which forms there the water starts stinking so similarly imagine that you are a pond of water but you need some movement so when there is movement happening in the body there is a good flow uh, blood flow happening in your body so maybe on that particular day exercise well go for a run just before you dress up and even if you are on stage and you are holding let's say you holding your mic let's say holding your mic it's not necessary that you have to just freeze like this maybe somewhere or the other you can express with your hand you can say something while while talking you can maybe say something with your hand and take it back again but express yourself there has to be a movement of your head movement of your eyes the movement of your jaws but there has to be movement i have seen girls who just freeze and then they have this very robotic smile uh, thank you for the question everyone my da 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 and they are just like a robot of course if you are like a robot and there is no movement you are like a stagnant pond which is not going to be very nice people love the rhythms and people the human brain itself loves movement anything which is slow and stopping human brain loses the concentration so by doing this not only are you helping yourself but you are also helping the people who are looking at you their brain too needs a kind of movement right so that's my point number 2 point number 3 is that remember people who are sitting in front of you are also human beings and majority of the people who are sitting there want you to win maybe your family is also there your mentors are there and all those people they want you to win they have chosen you because you're worth it so why are you scared of them you should not be and if you've already met them two three times before 
you are already familiar with their faces. So in case you feel, oh my God, what will they think of me? Oh my God, they, you know, I'm going to forget in front of them. No, just visualize, visualize because you will not be able to see the jury or the audience because the lights on the stage are so strong on your face that you cannot actually see. So you can visualize that one of those happy faces you've already met before is sitting there and imagine that you're speaking to that face and answering. Maybe uh, you've seen a jury member before on the site or you met them one-on-one -on -one during interview or somewhere and you like them. They are friendly. You can just visualize that person sitting there and speak to that person with ease. Remember, they are human beings too and everybody wants you to win. If they didn't want you to win, why would they pick you up in those finalists? Because you have something, that's why they picked you. Keep that in mind. Point number four, speak slow. Speak slow and speak to the point. If you speak very fast, one, you cannot get across. Number two, it appears you're nervous because you want to just get rid of this moment as soon as possible. And of course, if you speak so fast, people will not be able to, people will not like that. Very simple. So, and the more you talk, the more you will involve or get tangled in that web. So answer to the point and speak slowly and speak clearly. Don't eat your words. Thank you for your question, ma'am. And or ma'am or sir. And then let's say the question is who's your role model? In life? Don't fumble my role model. See, when you fumble, people can't hear you. So move, move your lips nicely. Throw the right words. Use the full words. Thank you for your question, ma'am. My role model is XYZ. Don't make exaggerated moment. Yes, but when you practice, practice with those exaggerated moments so that is a muscle memory. Yes, that I have to use clear and absolutely full word. I should not eat my words and keep it short and to the point. Now, when you keep it short and to the point, you will not have to run, right? So that's my next point. The other important point is Connect with the people who are sitting in front of you. Again, I said you will not be able to see most of the time. But even if you can see, how can you connect with people? The best way to connect with people is a smile. Smile is an international language everybody understands. And smile means we are friends. Smile means you're approachable, you're friendly. So good smile and a good eye contact are the ways to people's heart. So look at people and look or if you cannot look at everyone, look at that friendly face you were thinking of and then smile, make a great eye contact, connect, connect, connect. And if possible, look at everyone, which you will not be able to see, I've already told you, but make a gesture. Not a gesture like this, like a Bharat Natyam that you're looking like this and like this. No, it has to be a moment like this, looking at everyone, sometimes this side, sometimes in the center, sometimes this side. Connect with people. That's how they would want to know you better. Next point, that when you are even practicing for your introduction or question answer, have a goal in your mind. Why are you doing this? You are doing this because you want to win a particular thing. And why do you want to win a particular thing? Because there is something attached to it which you want. Don't look at it materialistically or as an ego that I have to win because I have to prove myself to people. No. Have a goal that if I get this, you know, because if you want to give, that is the best thing people would also want to know. So have that goal in your mind. Why are you here? And every time you're getting nervous, just reflect on that goal. Why are you here? You know, I tell a lot of girls who stand on the stage and they're thinking, oh my God, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. The moment you start thinking, I'll not be able to, I cannot do it. Think, why are you here? What have you sacrificed to be here? 
how much of money has got into this moment how much of effort has gone into this moment how many people have been in this journey with you think of all the hardship you have gone through to be standing there at this moment for what to fail no you waited for this moment and this is your time to prove so have that clear goal in front of you whenever you're feeling that little low and a very interesting thing is that imagine you know just imagine something at the back of that stage and throw your energy there you know, just throw everything on that point maybe there is an exit something exit written on the door maybe that is your um, you know that is a point where you should throw your energy there throw it there you know i'm throwing everything to you i don't want this and you feel lighter and if you're in an unfamiliar territory where you cannot identify where you can throw imagine and you should do this every day imagine maybe you pick up a pen in your hand maybe you pick up um, something in your hand and then you visualize that every time i feel nervous i'm going to throw my energy to you and you better receive what i'm throwing to you and keep this you know have a complete look at the object how it looks like and everything and even if that object is not there at that moment just imagine that object and then throw everything onto that object that okay receive all this negative energy which i'm getting you're my friend and you have to take it from me absorb it from me and then imagine that you've thrown that down on the stage before you have started answering the question so everything all that nervous energy you have thrown into that particular object and now you are lighter see don't ignore no i don't have to be nervous no i don't have to be the more you start saying i don't have to be nervous the more you ignore that feeling the more nervous you have you will become don't ignore redirect send it away send it out of your body so all those negative thoughts are being taken by that particular object or that point you have visualized and you have thrown it there and that object imagine has absorbed all that negative energy from you and you are empty and now you're performing very beautifully breathe mildly what happens is that when we are nervous we start breathing faster and i know people who want to finish one line hello my name is so and so i belong to delhi and i have completed this 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 finished in one breath your entire introduction is gone no because if you lack oxygen in your brain in your system you will become very light headed dizzy and blank anxiety will make you very light headed which is not something you're looking for at this particular moment you don't need that so breathe purposefully breathe in through your nose and breathe out from your mouth so as you're moving one by one towards the stage as you're moving one by one you are taking charge of your breath you're breathing through your nose and you're breathing out through your mouth and similarly when you're giving your introduction or when you're answering your question remember to take a breath after a sentence don't try to finish everything in one go another one beautiful thing you can do is called progressive muscle relaxation this is something which uh i was taught by one of our um spiritual mentors that whenever you are nervous you need to do that because there was a time when you know or there was a time during corona you were always anxious and you didn't know how to sleep you won't sleep peacefully so he taught me how to do this progressive muscle relaxation so he used to tell me okay now first thing you focus on your toe and tell your toe three times relax 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 your fingers relax 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 then your soul foot of your soul relax 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 your heel relax and a time will come by the time you reach your legs relaxing them you are fast asleep but here you have to do muscle relaxation because 
and in in a in an active state when you're fully conscious you're not going off to, going off to sleep on stage so you stand in that line and instead of comparing and looking yourself here and there just start talking to yourself okay start with your hair three times to your hair relax 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 and feel them relax to your forehead relax 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 to your eyes relax 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 to your chin to your jaw relax 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 your mouth to your tongue and go one by one one by one slowly feel that part feel that if it's hair feel that if it's your mouth feel it and as you order it relax 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 three times believe me it starts relaxing the tension from your body starts getting released and another beautiful thing which will happen when you do this exercise when you're standing in the line that it will distract your mind from nervousness another a very nice uh, thing you can do is to find a central point in your body the best is about 2 inches below your navel you know where 2 inches below the navel so somewhere or maybe 2 inches above your navel or maybe towards the navel because you see one brain is here and the other brain is your gut where you get these butterflies so focus on that and then as you breathe in and breathe out just keep your focus on that point and keep telling that point relax 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 and every time you're relaxing also mentally also keep thinking about your goal why are you here how much i have done to be here my moment is now i cannot give up everything will go beautifully and you you already started building up that momentum to give your best and as you come on stage you take a deep breath get as much of oxygen as you can and throw that energy into that object or that point find a face or imagine a face and start giving your answer in short and slowly then tell me who can stop you from being nervous so i hope i have given you the scientific way and the personal way which i have learned in my life to relax yourself when you are on stage and when you practice this every day while practicing your questions or your introduction it will become your muscle memory and i have always said this don't just stand in front of the mirror and practice because the moment you move away from mirror that memory is gone you need to record yourself every day along with the mirror practice so that you can also keep a track on how you're improving every day and be be very very strict about your practice sessions just like lifting that horse when the time will come you will lift the most challenges and difficult of questions and you will become a winner all the very best i hope this helps you see you soon again bye for now